In this video, I'm gonna give you 10 tips to sketch better in SOLIDWORKS. So in SOLIDWORKS, sketching is the basis of pretty much everything. So having good sketching ability will help you create better parts, help you model faster, and just help you all around. So we're gonna focus on 10 plus tips and tricks to help you sketch faster and better. So let's jump into it. Use shift to dimension to the outside of arcs. So if we enter a regular dimension here, right click, drag upward, and we click this arc and that arc, it's gonna automatically dimension between centers. If we wanna dimension outside to outside though, we can instead hold down shift, click this arc, keep holding down shift and click that arc. Now we're outside to outside. Pause for just a little while while you're sketching to get more information. For instance, hover over this line, you get the midpoint. Control select the center. As long as you don't move away, you'll get the quick palette that gives you possible references that you can add, like make vertical. Okay, you have a sketch and you want to dimension symmetrically. If you start here and dimension from the center you're stuck at doing half of that dimension. If you go ahead and add in a center line and then dimension to that, you can drag across that center line and get the full symmetrical dimension. Now when you mirror it, your dimension between the parts. Switch between line and tangent arc mode on the fly. If you're drawing a line and you come back to the point and off again, you get a tangent arc. Makes it real easy to alternate between the two. Enter dimensions and conversions directly into dimension boxes. Right click, drag upwards to start dimension. Enter a conversion from inches to millimeters by typing four and the inch mark and hit enter. 101.6. To make the height half the width, start the dimension, click on the width to enter it into the box and then type divided by two. Enter an equation directly into the dimension box. So this height is half of the width but if I change the width, the height stays the same. I can change this dimension, start it with an equal sign, click the dimension you want to work with, put in the math, divided by two, and now you can see there's an equation mark, so now anytime I change this, it will recalculate the height to suit the width. Change the spin box increments to allow you to nudge a dimension by a certain value. We'll insert a dimension here. Say we'll make it 15. Hit the spin box increment set. We'll make it 0.1. And now as we hit our spin box, we'll nudge by 0.1 millimeter. When I change it again, we'll make it 0.5. And now we'll be moving by 0.5. Three ways to keep this feature in the center of the bigger feature. Hover over the bottom line till the midpoint pops up, click it, control click the origin, and click make vertical. Now it's centered. What if the midpoint isn't the center? Add a construction line. Use its midpoint the same way. Another possibility is to click the outside lines and make them equal. You want to dimension the angle of something, but only have one leg to work with? We'll start your dimension. 
click that one leg and then click the vertex and it'll give you some options of what the other vertex should be. Hover over it, click it, and dimension to that vertex. When selecting objects, the direction you draw the window matters. If you select from left to right, it'll only select the items that are fully inside the window. If you select from right to left, it'll grab everything it crosses. For instance, if I wanted these four lines but didn't want the ends, it would be almost impossible to do that without multiple selections. If I right to left select, I get just the four lines. If I just want the ends and I left to right select, it's going to select the horizontals too. If I left to right select, I can get just the ends. There's also control A to select everything in the sketch. As I've said many times, you always want to fully define your sketches. Sometimes it's not easy to see what's needed to fully define the sketch. We know it has something to do with this arc because it's blue, but it has a radius, it has a location. So exercise the sketch to figure out what still moves. I'll grab this point and drag it. And you can see down there that the center point of the arc is still free to move. So we can just select it, control select the origin, make it vertical, and now we're fully defined. Do you think I got the top 10? Well, let me know in the comments below what you think the most helpful SOLIDWORKS sketching tip is. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. There's much more to come. If you like more content like this, check out one of these videos on the screen where I walk through the design and modeling of a part and teach along the way. Thanks for watching.